Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. Ultimate Team of the Season is here. It's coming today, Friday in FIBA 21, Ultimate Team. So I want to talk about what cards could be in Ultimate Tots, what to expect today from the team of cards that will be put back into packs, uh, and also the SBCs, the objectives, all of the market movements that we should see today as well, and a little Player of the Year SBC we could be seeing today too from the Premier League because the PFA award is announced today on Friday, but also the EA vote is over and we could have that SBC released today on Friday as well. And also talking about the Weekend League Reward Refresh. There's a, probably a screen when you load it into FIFA, you're seeing it. I want to kind of talk about what that means because there is a few things that we have learned from it. And also talk about what's happened on the market in the last couple of days and what's going to happen today with these cards re-released back into packs. So again, if you're not entirely remembering what Ultimate Team of the Season is, Ultimate Team of the Season is the best or what EA calls as the best team of the season cards we have seen so far this year as a part of TOTS, and they re-release them back into packs, right? So you expect all the big guys to get in, and they throw some more lower tier cards in there too, right? Sommer, Carvajal, Hummels, Henderson from last year. Now, last year they were doing 20 to 22 man squads for this as well. This year they've only been doing 15 man squads as a part of team of the season. So hopefully today, ultimate team of the season is more than a 15 man squad because it's just if it's just 15 cards i think that's going to really make this promo in this week as the last week of team of the season not very hype because we need to see more cards in that in packs especially if they're going to be some of the big names you know like de bruyne mbappe neymar Lewandowski, ronaldo messi some of the same names that we saw last year we need to see more than just 15 cards in packs today ea sports 100 percent but again we did a prediction video earlier this week about what cards are going to get in of course some cards you know are most likely getting in right your neymar your mbappe you talk about syria you're looking at cristiano ronaldo who's probably getting in today i think lukaku is going to get in i think Teo hernandez could be getting as well. So the number one thing I want you guys to watch out for today is selling a, before 6 p.m. content drop today. Watch out for selling on some of the most expensive and the highest rated team of the season cards that people are expecting to get in. I think you will see people panic selling cards today as we head into the drop. Uh, because if a card gets into ultimate team in the season, obviously that means their price is going to drop because there's people that are going to be opening lightning rounds today. There's people that have saved packs from icon swaps myself included. There's a lot of people that have been saving packs even this past week because there's really been nothing to do. There's nothing to craft right now. There's not very many SBCs. People have been doing upgrade packs. They have nothing to put their SBC fodder into. We're going to talk about fodder in this video again because it stays incredibly low. But um, with that being the case, you're going to have a lot of people opening up packs today, like these 83 times 25, the 84 times 20. I know that doesn't really affect the market, um, but it does in an SBC fodder sort of sense. And again, like I mentioned with the safe packs, some people have been saving packs, uh, tradable packs from weekend league rewards for this past week because there's really, you know, they haven't had a reason to open them in the last week uh, with League One Tots not having a lot of content out. So I do expect that today. Now switching into, again, Ultimate Tots content. If you guys remember last year, we had a big SBC dropped on Friday of Ultimate Team of the Season. That was the Drius Mertens flashback SBC. Um, now I do think we'll get some sort of SBC player today. It's probably going to be a big boy, right? You know, they really usually drop pretty good SBCs on day one. You think to the past few Fridays and foot, we've had the LR SBC. We have had uh, going back to like Marcelo and Bale and Douglas Costa and, and cards like that. We've had pretty good value SBCs on the Friday. So hopefully we get a big time player SBC today, whether that is a TOTS player, a flashback player or something of that like. And we should also be seeing new objectives. We have Kempembe and Rodriguez, which are both going away. And we should be seeing a new objective in here, whether it's a TOTS moments or a TOTS card or a flashback. We should have another objective player released today as well. And then other than that for content today, I really wouldn't be expecting that much uh, except for a player of the year SBC, which we could be talking about. But team of the season related content, again, EA continues to be you know, pulling back the reins from where the content was with Bundesliga and La Liga team of the season. It's just been quiet this past week and a half, I would say. And that's just not helping the game out right now. I think people are hoping that today it kind of turns around, but we're really not going to know if it is until probably Sunday or Monday of this next week. So again, that's kind of what I'm expecting for the content wise today. Now, again, let's talk a little bit more about that content, right? This voting right here was released 
earlier in the week. Now, some of the players are hidden behind my face cam, um, but of course, you've got De Bruyne, Ruben Diaz, Bruno Fernandez, Grealish, Sushek, Salah, Mount, and Kane all in the voting for the FIFA 21 player of the season. Now, today on Friday is the actual PFA awards when the PFA will be announcing their player. But this, since there is voting involved, I believe is independent of the PFA. This is EA Sports' uh, you know, their own thing. And you know, we talked about a player of the year and a young player of the year. I think we're only going to be seeing a player of the year SBC today. And since we have, you know, I was talking about this earlier on a live stream. I didn't remember us having the actual award winner card design. If you guys remember what that award winner card design looked like, I'm going to look up a card and remind you guys of what it looked like last year. I don't think we've seen this card design used this year, but it, there is one that is in the code. It was added very early on this year. There is an award winner card design that is added into FIFA. It just hasn't been used yet. And I think today might be the day where we see it, right? It's either going to be Bruno Fernandez, in my opinion, Harry Kane, um, or maybe Ruben Diaz. One of those three guys, I think, wins today. And this would probably be the SBC that we would get, would be a player of the year card, which would have the exact same stats as the team of the season. So that's one thing. Since this voting is closed, and EA tweeted out yesterday, like, hey, this voting is closed. It's on for, to see the vote. And since the PFA is announcing it today, I think um, that we will see the SBC today as well in FIFA. I don't know what time that's going to drop, but I think it'll be some day, sometime today on Friday alongside of the ultimate team of the season content released in this game. Now that makes you think about SBC fodder, right? And that's what I want to talk about. Again, as I mentioned, a lot of people have saved up packs. Not a lot of people, right? I mean, it's not going to be like Bundes, it's not, right, not like Premier League Tots or like Community Team of the Season where you saw so many saved up packs that were opened right away where all the Tots cards got really cheap. Then they went up after that. I'm not expecting that sort of supply today. I'm expecting a lot of people with packs like this, untradeables, right? And what that means is without a lot of SBCs for people to do at the moment, besides some icons, like I'm I'm doing Cantona because I was doing a lot of League One upgrade packs. As you can tell, the number down below, the blues counter has gone up. I've had a lot, packed a lot of like Jose, Fonte, you know, Navas, Laborde, stuff like that. And I was doing, I'm working on this moment's Cantona, but so many people are loaded with fodder right now in this game and it's making SBC prices extremely extremely cheap they literally just keep dropping and i think unless we have incredible out of this world content today it's gonna drop even further i know it sounds ridiculous 84 cards are at right, 4,000 coins i mean we are literally literally looking at the exact same situation that we saw during premier league team of the season just a couple weeks ago if we zoom into like the three the one month graph here you can see right during premier league tots these guys got down to three thousand coins we had two insane weeks of content in 84s we're back at 10 11 000 coins last year during ultimate team of the season in fifa 20 SBC fodder got very, very low during the weekend of Ultimate Tots. So if you have not bought fodder already, I used, I actually used a lot of my SBC fodder doing Cantona. SBCs are ridiculously, ridiculously cheap right now. And let me show you that Cantona SBC just an ex as an example. I mean, this card right now is 2.13 million coins to do at the moment. And look how much he was earlier this month. He was 3 million coins when he first came out. He is now 2.1 mil to complete on the market from scratch. If you did this just from scratch, it's crazy how low the fodder market has gone. And I think that today with the pack supply and with people opening up untradeable packs, I don't think that this fodder is really going to shoot up today. I honestly think that it's going to go a little bit lower or stay around the same price. So if you want to buy more SBC cards, feel free to go ahead and do so. Anything from 83 rated all the way up to, I would say like 87 to 88. I mean, these cards, once we have a big time icon repeatable pack that is out or like an icon player pick SBC, again, I keep talking about that because it's going to be coming in the near future. And I think that's going to be something that you can buy some cards, put them in your club and be waiting for. Even if the content gets really, really hyped this week, you might start to see some of this fodder stuff go up if we get good SBCs during Ultimate Tot. So again, I think this is a very good investment once again, just as we're heading into a part of FIFA where the content is going to be based off of what EA does in the SBC section, more so of what the content's going to be. You know, after Team of the Season, we don't have that many promos, right? We have Summer Heat maybe, but those really aren't pack-based promos. So a lot of our supply for SBC fodder, unless EA does two-for-one packs and stuff like that, is going to stay pretty pretty slim, and it's going to be a lot more demand for SBCs 
than we have right now. So I think fodder again is an incredible play. Do a club stock, you know, buy some cards, put them on your transfer list, put some in your club. I think that's a great decision to do once again. Now, the one thing I want to talk about as well is weekend league rewards. Uh, because with Ultimate Tots coming today, which I'm going to register for this weekend league in a second, uh, but if we take a look at the schedule, you, you guys were asking about the eFigs rewards from earlier this week, right? You can see here that we have the eFigs, Tots players, and those are going to be the cards in packs. Now, EA released this special note earlier today in FIFA. They said that they wanted to break down the rewards starting for this weekend's competition, right? Today, June 4th on Friday. They're using Ultimate Tots players in the Elite Packs and in the Reds. Of course, the same rules as before. But as you can see down here, if you don't get Gold 2 Plus, like the Filler Reds, the secondary league team, is going to be Rest of the World or MLS Tots. So since those cards go out of packs on Monday, what that tells me is once Either, either one of two things is going to happen. When Monday comes around, the MLS TOTS and the, the rest of the world TOTS cards are going to be extended into packs until Friday to match the ultimate team of the season. Or two, all of the ultimate TOTS cards are only going to be in packs until Monday. Uh, and we might only have a weekend of ultimate team of the season. So we will have to see. TOTS might be done by June 7th, the end of this weekend. Or I guess one thing they could do is put the ultimate TOTS cards in a pack in the packs for the week and then the rest of the world and that stuff just stops on Monday and then it's not in packs anymore throughout the week. So that's going to be very interesting to see for me what we have happen this week. But I think those are kind of the scenarios that we could see um, with stuff on the market. So again, diving back into a little bit with stuff that's going to happen today on the market, right? I do expect to see a bit of panic selling for people who think cards are going to get in, right? Frankie de Young who I think is a card a lot of people might be expecting to get into Ultimate Tots, watch out for the selling this morning because there's going to be a couple scenarios you can watch out for today. Scenario number one, let's say a card like this, uh, like, you know, Benzema and Suarez, both kind of on the cusp of maybe getting in, both pretty usable cards, decently hyped, right? Benzema is 616,000 coins. Let's say Benzema this morning when you roll up to 6 p.m. content, he's actually up. He was 523 last week. Um, if this, if Benzema gets into ultimate tots, he's probably going to drop to be like 400 K by the end of next week. If they're in packs for a week, he's going to drop a lot, right? So people are going to be worried about that. And if you see a bunch of panic selling this morning, but then when we actually get to the content drop, um, or if we know the team, like right before the content drop, uh, and Benzema is not in, you're going to see people go back out and buy this card back up because they're not going to be worried about it losing a lot of steam and a lot of coins and a lot of value because it won't be in packs. That thing happened last year with Tots, Serge, Nabry. I made some coins off of that last year. And it also happened with Tots' son because he was not involved in Ultimate Team of the Season. So, Again, I would watch Todd's son today. Uh, I would watch Salah because he's kind of on the fence. Rashford's on the fence. I'm very curious to see who they put in today for ultimate team of the season. But those are some fluctuations you might be able to look out for today. And also cards that are, you know, maybe a shoe in for ultimate Tots. Like uh, a card like maybe not from the Premier League is a good example. Bruno Fernandez we think might get in, but he could also get that SBC today. But like Messi, right? Messi is 2.8 million coins right now at the moment, right? 2.9 on the Xbox. If we're on FIFA today on Friday and you see this team of the season Messi card, I'm telling you, like if this guy gets panic sold um, hundreds of thousands of coins down, like right now he is two point he is two point eight two, right? Two point eight two for this Messi. He was two six earlier this week. I mean if you see this guy at like two two four, maybe even two five today, like huge, huge undercuts on some of these very, very high rated cards, very expensive items, even like Neymar, right? Uh, they're not going to get packed that much today, even though they're going to be released back into packs. This Neymar is 9.2. I almost guarantee you that we see some panic selling on Neymar today and some undercutting because people are going to be worried about him getting back into, into Ultimate Tots. He might get into Ultimate Tots, but with how rare he is and how many people want to use this card, he might get panic sold down to like 8.5 mil, but then shoot right back up to nine. You know, I mean, that could be some sort of fluctuation that you see today. Um, that'd be a little bit more risky. I'd more so look for the ones that are cards that might not get into ultimate tots that are being sold off and then bounce back after 6 PM because people see the content like, Hey, my card didn't get in. I sold it because I was worried it was going to, and now it's kind of gone back up. So I would really watch for that kind of selling today on the market 
guys like Sancho, Lukaku are great examples of that as well. I would take a look at your icons too, right? I love trading with icons. They're going to get supplied today from lightning rounds at the 59th minute. Um, you know, primes and moments are the ones that are in packs. So I would watch out for those. And if you have any of the MLS tots or like this Nani, MLS or rest of the world, these guys are going to get supplied today too. So I'd be careful with those because there might be some selling and some dropping prices in general on some of these cards today as they are in packs. Now, one last thing I want to talk about too is this player of the year SBC, right? A lot of people think Bruno Fernandez is going to be in ultimate team of the season um, or Harry Kane. Probably the I in most people's eyes would be the top two candidates for who could be winning that player of the year award. Now, I think you're going to see panic selling and some prices dropping on this Bruno today and the same thing with Kane. And the thing is, with these player of the year SBCs that have dropped in the past, EA has made them pretty good value, right? The De Bruyne example from last year. Um, I do think that if they released a 96 Bruno Fernandes team of the season or player of the year, sorry, with the same stats as the team of the season as an SBC today, if they release it with how cheap fodder is, they're probably going to make it, in my opinion, like 1.5 mil. And that's going to cause this card to go down in price. So there's a little bit of extra worry for a card like Kane, maybe Kevin De Bruyne, maybe Ruben Diaz. Now, as a Spurs fan, I'm hoping that Kane wins it today. I really am. His card's actually up a lot. 364, 365 is up from where he was earlier this week. He was like 330. I'm really hoping that Kane wins this award. I think he's deserving of it. And uh, I would love a cheap little Harry Kane SBC, like a little 200K Harry Kane. I would love to put my fodder into that uh, as a Spurs fan. But that's kind of the risk that you run today. So I think your greatest market movements today are going to be with some of the team of the season cards that are on this game where people see or expect them to get into ultimate tots. They don't get in and their prices rebound from that or also cards that do get into ultimate tots that get supplied and get packed. You know, like let's say a lower tier card kind of gets in. Like I think Cancelo could be a card that gets into ultimate team of the season today with the Portuguese. EA likes to throw in cards that could maybe troll us. So you might think, hey, you know, a Portuguese flag during ultimate tots, you're going to be packing Ronaldo. But of course, it could be Joao Cancelo. Um, so like a card like this is probably going to drop off. And if you take a look at some of those cards that were in that ultimate tot squad last year, they 100% dropped off in price because again, that supply happens throughout the weekend. So that's going to be a lot of interesting market movements to watch today in that sort of area and that sort of front. Um, but again, always watch your icons and watch these cards that aren't even close to getting into ultimate tots as well. This Alessandrini with the French links is up so much. He was 250 K yesterday and he's all the way up to 330,000 coins a huge rise on this french right wing alessandrini um of course whatever sbc that we have come out today too that's going to affect the market in terms of players in that same position same league might take a hit in price if the sbc has good value so there's going to be plenty of ways to make coins today on this game um, but I really think that's going to be dependent on what kind of selling that we see headed into the content drop today. So it could be a really good day of content. It really could be a really fun day of content as well. I know a lot of you guys are saving up packs. I hope the ultimate tots squad that they put into the game today is very hype. A lot of big players and a lot of quantity too, right? Quality and quantity is what we're hoping for today inside of FIFA. So that's my opinion on the market, what's going on right now and what's going to happen today with ultimate team of the season. If you guys have any questions, of course, drop them down below. If you enjoyed this video, smash a thumbs up on it. And of course, subscribe if you're new. It has been Nate, the Vote Accountant. I will catch you guys later. Peace out.